Hi guys, welcome back to the next guide. Today I have brought you eight powerful Kind Master hacks that will be super useful for your mobile video editing. Using these will definitely speed up your editing process. Don't miss the last point, it's extremely helpful. Make sure to watch the video till the end. So, grab your phone, open Kind Master, and let's dive straight in. Look, if you want to add a fade out effect at the end of your video, here's what you need to do. Simply go to the settings, select your video, and turn on this fade out option. Then select the duration. The number of seconds you choose here will determine how long the fade out effect lasts at the end of the video. Once you have done this, the fade out effect will be applied at the end of your video. But what if you want to apply the same fade out effect in the middle of your video? That's also very simple. Just watch carefully. Let's say I want to apply a fade out effect from this point to this point in my video. But KineMaster only gives us the option to apply it at the beginning or the end. So to apply the effect here in the middle, I will click on Layer, then go to Media, and under Image Assets, I will add this plain black image. To make it full screen, I will click on Split Screen, then select this option to turn it into full screen. Next, I will adjust its duration as needed. Now, with the layer selected, click on In Animation, and from here, I will choose the Fade effect. You can use this slider to control the speed of the fade. Slide to the left to make it faster, and to the right if you want it to appear slower and smoother. I want it a bit slow, so I will slide it to the right. As you can see, our fade out effect is ready. You can also apply the same effect under Out Animation. Just select Fade here too. This way, your next footage will fade in smoothly. Take a look at the result. This trick is going to save you a lot of time, so watch carefully. I will first add an image layer. Now how do you fit this image to the screen? Normally you might zoom in manually, or go to split screen like I showed in the previous tip. But now, you don't even have to do that. Once you have added the image, just double tap on it, and it will automatically fit to the screen. And it's not just for images, you can do the same thing with videos as well. If you have a documentary or news channel, this text highlighting effect is going to be very useful for you. Creating it is also very easy. First, add a screenshot of the article or news you want to show to the timeline, like this. After that, there are two ways to apply the highlight effect. First, tap on the layer, then click on Media and go to Image Assets to select a plain image from there. Next, click on Color and choose the color you want to use to highlight the text. Don't select very dark colors because dark colors won't highlight the text properly. I will go with yellow. Now, increase the size of the image a little, then crop and fit it over the text. But while cropping and placing it on the text, you might face some difficulty because the text won't be clearly visible. To fix this, select the image layer, scroll a bit, and tap on the alpha opacity option. Reduce the opacity slightly. This will make the image transparent. Now go to the cropping tool and crop it like this. Then adjust and place it right over the text you want to highlight. Once done, go back to the opacity option and set it back to 100%. Then, just below that, you will find the Blending option. Tap on it and select Multiply. You can also try other blending modes, for example. Phoenix will change the color of the text. Glow will give it a glowing effect. Now it's time to add animations. For that, select the layer and tap on In Animation. Then, scroll a bit and select the Wipe Right option. This will create a smooth wipe animation. You can use the slider here to adjust the speed of the animation according to your voiceover. Slide left for faster, right for slower. And that's it, your text highlight effect is now ready. All right, let's move on to the second method to highlight text. Place the timeline bar on the timestamp where you wanna highlight the text. Then tap on layer, go to handwriting, and choose your desired color. I will go with blue here. Next, tap the pencil icon, select the rectangle shape, 
and swipe from left to right to draw a shape like this. You can swipe up or down to adjust the thickness of the rectangle. Now go back and under Blending, select the same option, Multiply. After that, come back and adjust this shape exactly over the text you want to highlight. Finally, go to In Animation and apply the same Wipe Right effect. Your text highlight effect is ready. The bookmarking feature in KaiMaster may seem small, but it's actually a very powerful and time-saving tool, especially when you're editing long or multi-layered projects. When you're working on different scenes or sections in a long video, bookmarking lets you instantly jump to any marked point, making your editing process much faster and more organized. If you want to add text later while editing, or make changes at a specific point, you can bookmark that spot to return to it easily. You can even mark music beats to sync your edits perfectly. Now, let's learn how to use this feature. Now, suppose my voiceover starts from here and I want to add text at this point later. To mark this spot, simply tap on the timeline at this timestamp. You will notice the color changes, which means the bookmark has been added. And let's say you want to edit according to the music beats. Just play the music and add a bookmark every time a beat hits just like this. Now, with these bookmarks, you can easily make your edits without having to listen to the music again and again. Just click on any bookmark to jump directly from one mark to another, making your editing process much faster and more efficient. And more importantly, if you want to remove a bookmark, just click on that particular timestamp again and it will be removed instantly. PNGs you use for video editing usually have to be downloaded from somewhere or created using another app. But in KindMaster, you can easily remove the background from your photos. And the best part is, not just images, you can even remove the background from videos. And that too with just one tap. Let me show you how. <clears throat> First you need to add the image from which you want to remove the background. Then select the image and scroll down a bit, you will see the magic remover option. Tap on it and the background will be removed automatically. Look how cleanly the cutout has turned out. <laughs> Keep in mind this works best on humans, it doesn't work as well on objects or logos. Hopefully this issue will be fixed in future updates. Let me show you how to remove the background from videos as well. First add the video you want to edit. Then follow the same process, scroll and look for the magic remover option and tap on it. It will take some time to process, depending on the length of the video. Once the background is removed, I will adjust the size a bit. As you can see, it looks really good. You can set any background you like. You can even create effects like this. If you want to see this in more detail, you can check out this video on my channel. It's already available there. After doing a bit of editing, if you want to play the video to check whether it's done properly or not, you only get a small preview screen, which makes it difficult to view and spot any problems. <laughs> but, KineMaster also gives you an option to view the video in full screen, although many people don't know about it. If you tap and hold the play button, the video will play in full screen. This helps you can properly analyze your video. If you already knew this trick, be sure to mention it in the comments. Almost all YouTubers use free stock footages and images in their videos, right? In KindMaster, both Pixabay and Pexels are integrated. You can easily find and use the type of videos you need for free. Yes, you can also go to the Pixabay or Pexels websites and download the videos from there, but how many will you keep downloading? Your storage will fill up quickly. In KindMaster, just click on Media, choose either of the two platforms, and then search for what you need. If you want images, select images. If you want videos, select videos. It will be added directly to your timeline. This saves you both time and storage. You won't need to download them separately. This is one of the biggest advantages of Kane Master. All right, let's move towards our final tip for today.
The Export Kind File feature in KindMaster is an advanced and super useful tool, especially for editors who collaborate, reuse projects, or work across multiple devices. This feature allows you to export and import an entire KindMaster project, including all edits, layers, music, transitions, text, etc. If you're editing on one phone and want to complete the work later on another device, you can export the kind file and then easily import it on the second device. Sometimes, due to app crashes or mobile resets, projects can be lost. By exporting the kind file, you can keep a backup of your project and restore it anytime. Let's now learn how to export it. From the home page, you will see your saved projects. Tap the three dots next to it and then select the export project option to save it. To import it again, click Create New. On the top right-hand side, you will find the Import option. From there, choose your file and import it. All your previous edits will be restored on the timeline. Before exporting, change the name of your project so that there's no confusion when importing later. This will help you remember which file belongs to which project. That's all for today. Let me know in the comments which tip or trick you like the most from the ones I shared in this video. And if you want me to bring part two, then help this video reach 30 likes. That way, I'll know you're interested and I'll bring the second part very soon. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel so that when I upload part two, you get the notification. Until then, you can watch my other videos. I'll see you there.